Hey there guys, how's it going? Back with a post-fight review. So first of all, um, rest in peace to the great Marvin Hagler, legend, passed away recently. Yeah, God God rest his soul. Man, what a fight that was, man. Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez versus Juan Francisco Estrada. These guys fought before. They fought back in 2012, I believe. So about eight years ago. Um, and the first fight was competitive, but it was a clear win for um, Gonzalez. Uh, this time, Estrada gets revenge, winning the fight by a split decision, and man, this was an incredible fight. Um, lots of people have their own opinions on who they thought won. This fight was, was very similar to the first fight, in the sense that Estrada came out very fast and was very busy. However, Chocolatito was the more... He was the more economical. He was the more accurate. You know, he was throwing his punches with more accuracy and with more tact. You know, he wasn't just going in there and trying to overwhelm his opponent. I think Chocolatito being um, at the stage of, the, of his career that he's at, you know, he has to um, sort of manage his stamina a little bit more. And just like in the first fight, I felt it was sort of quality over quantity from uh, Chocolatito. But Estrada, man, w was really effective too. I mean, he buzzed Chocolatito so many times in there. And uh, like I said, he was the busier of the two. And I wasn't even really scoring it, man. I was just enjoying it. What an absolute war that was. That was like Barrera Morales. It was like um, Gatti Ward. It was one of those types of fights, man. It was a back and forth brawl. Both guys showed tremendous chin, tremendous stamina. Um, why can't we get fights like this more often, man? I'm I'm so hyped, man. That was amazing. And again, um, it was so difficult to score. Um my overall impression watching the fight was that Chocolatito had done enough to win just based on his slightly better accuracy. He was just a bit more economical with his punches, you know, throwing less often, more effectively, if you know what I mean. Whereas Estrada tend to throw more often, less effectively. He was the bigger guy in there and he, of course, was in in a weight division that suits him a little bit more, in my opinion. Uh, whereas for the first fight, he moved down to fight Chocolatito. So that was definitely um, on my mind. Also, I couldn't really get out of my mind on the build-up to this fight. The um, second Rungvisai fight that um, Chocolatito had where he got knocked out in devastating fashion. And that was why I ultimately picked Estrada. I never made a video, but if you saw my uh, whereabouts on live streams and whatnot, I was always picking Estrada to win this fight. But I wasn't too confident. But... Chocolatito actually did a lot better than I thought he would, and again, my, my initial thoughts were that he'd done enough to win, but um, yeah, Estrada gets the decision, I've got no argument, I'll need to watch the fight tomorrow maybe and see um, if, if, if it's a little bit different a second time, but um, man, it was a great fight, I mean, both guys were just slugging it out at the 12th round, both guys looked exhausted, but they were trading, you know, just trading blows, and, and it was, you hit me, I hit you, it was like rock'em sock'em robots, man. But there was a really high level of skill in that ring, and both guys just were, were tremendous. That was a tremendous fight, man. One of the best fights in, in a long time, without a shadow of a doubt. And um, I, I assume that Ron Francisco Estrada is now going to be lined up to fight Rungvisai, who fought last night and had a knockout victory over in Thailand. So um, I would like to see a third fight. You know, maybe they could have the, the rubber match, because they're both one apiece. And that would be a good fight. I, I favour Estrada since he won the second fight quite convincingly, even though he lost the first fight. Um, as for Gonzalez, uh, I don't know, he, he might want to retire after this. This fight will take a lot out of him, and he's been through a, a really hard, long career. But if he wants to try and go for the third fight against either Rung Versailles or Estrada, I wouldn't object to that, because, I, again, I thought he maybe did enough to win. So, again, I don't even know what else to say. What a great fight, man. What, what what an absolute war. That was that was incredible, man. It really was. And you could see why we were all so excited about this one. Because it was just such an exciting matchup. The first fight was great. And this fight was even better. Like, this was actually better than the first fight, in my opinion. So, yeah. Great fight. Um, congratulations to Estrada. Um, congratulations to uh, Gonzalez. What a great fight, man. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. God bless.